Welcome back to our channel. I'm Michelle. I'm Teresa. I'm Natalie. And we are back with three more backpacks for you guys today. Um, no specific themed, just Disney fun. That's why we've got some Disney Mickey ears on. Teresa and I both have Mickey stuff. Natalie does not, but it's because she is enjoying her tie-dye stuff right now that we made. So Natalie, would you like to go first? We're at home. So I have a Peter Pan backpack. So I'm pretty sure this is a rare one. It is. Um, it's, it's an exclusive limited edition because it's um. So Disney is running a Minnie Mouse main attraction collection. So every month they release like a line of stuff based on different rides in the parks. This one is June. It was based off Peter Pan. So. On the so on this ear, it's like it has like a star, like two stars on it. It's because there's a line in the movie that says second star to the right. Oh, that's cool. She hasn't seen Peter Pan yet. Yes, sadly. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure it says Peter Pan flying. Is that? It's Peter Pan, Wendy, Michael, and John. And then this is Tinkerbell. I'm pretty sure. And then, so this is like one of the, like the newer designs because it has the crown right on the over the Y. Yeah, the bitch is released in June. Oh. <laughs> and, and it's also a holograph, a um, sequiny backpack. So, yeah. All right, yeah, so Natalie pointed out this is um, one of the special edition releases for um, the monthly main attraction for the month of June. Uh, as you mentioned, sequin bag, super sparkly. You guys can already see all the light shining on there. Look at that sparkle though. It's a really nice um, dark navy blue color. Again, fantastic design on the front there of the characters over the skyline of the city, as well as Tinkerbell as the um, zipper pull. It is laid out like most of the other main backpacks. You've got the big main pocket front compartment right there, as well as two side pockets. Um, let's double check the inside for you really quick here. I haven't even looked at it yet. Um, nothing special, just a uh, navy blue lining on the inside. So yes, this is one of the monthly attraction ones. Um, I haven't really collected any of the months. The only main two when I first looked at the collection that I really wanted was Space Mountain, which we do have. It's right behind Teresa over there. It's Space Mountain. Um, and then um, next month, September, um, is Thunder Mountain Railroad, which is the one, others, one that I really like. Those are like kind of our top two favorite rides at Disneyland. So I wanted those two bags. So we'll wish me luck trying to get it in September with the merch pass thing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if I can't get it myself, I might be willing to trade my silver sequin for it if you, uh, if you have one. If you do get one and I don't. Um, but yeah. Love the sparkles. I'm not a huge fan of sequins, of using sequins, mainly because I am too clumsy for them. Um, but they are super pretty though. And yeah, that's that one. Oh, I forget too. Some people have mentioned this about this. When they buy the bags, and obviously these are all coming from Disney usually, is the tag, the one that says like you know, special, like it says like what series it is and everything. Is it that? Because so this one is six out of twelve because it's for June. Um, some people are mentioning that theirs aren't coming with it. I'm not sure why, but this one does. I guess I haven't. I don't even know if Space Mountain has it on there. Maybe it does. Check it on the back. Feel something. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh. Guess they're not really consistent about it. But yeah. That one's the June monthly one. Teresa, you want to This one is Heimlich from Bugs Life. It's, and it's, um, it has a butterfly. It has a butterfly. Mm -hmm. It has a butterfly. It has a butterfly. Yeah. I'm a beautiful butterfly. Yeah. Yeah, this is him in his butterfly form, as you can see with his adorably tiny wings. <laughs> that can't hold him up. That's so cute, I like um, when I did that. Yeah. Well, the, yes, this is one of the new releases uh, from Buck, uh, Lunch Fly. Um, let me see here. So it is laid out a little bit like the new ones where it has the 
again, what's with the color on this camera for that? Okay, so he's laid out like uh, um, some of the newer bags where they have like the um, over the top zipper on there, but I love the little pattern on it because it looks like his little segments in his body, his adorable little face there with the antennas that do stick up and out, and you've got the wings and his wing pattern on the two side pockets there, as well as his little legs sticking out. Um, so I do want to point out that I'm slowly getting my friends addicted to lounge fly too. One of my friends who hadn't had any, um, she only had like a lounge fly tote and uh, wallets, but she hadn't had any backpacks yet. And I convinced her to get one. This was her first one, so she has one too. I'm excited. Now I'm, she's getting addicted and buying more. She's bought the new Snow White. Um, but yeah, super cute. It's like, I think it's, oh, forgot the little detail of the candy corn as the zipper. Yeah, it's because he eats the like candy corn in the movie. Oh, but I love the, all the little extra details that uh, Lounge Flight puts into a lot of his bags. Like, there's little ones where if you don't really know the movie at all, you might not understand why it's there or catch it. Like a candy corn, you might not really know why he has candy corn, but it's it's a throwback to what happens in the movie. Oh, beautiful butterfly! Yeah, and let's show you guys the inside really quick. It's super pretty. It's a nice corn. tealy blue as well as Heimlich eating some candy corn and some candy corns, of course. Um, I think the only complaint I've really heard so far about this bag is that people are saying the wings are in the wrong spot or in a bad spot and they don't like it because it's like right up against your back, I guess, because it's laid out right here. Um, I've been hearing people say that it should be up front here and whatnot, which I'm like, I. I mean, his wings are on his back, so it kind of makes sense that they're a little further back. But that's that's just me. Anyways, very cute. And then last one for you all today. This one is from Fox Lunch. I don't know if it's an exclusive or not. <laughs> but it is Bell Stress. You can see all the pattern on the front is like the draping in her dress and then these little details on here are actual uh, metal studs, they're not printed on there. They're on the front there. Um, so this is laid out a little bit differently than most of the other bags I've seen. So you've got the big main compartment there, the shape is just slightly different, but the front pocket is definitely very different. It's a very flat front pocket that zips around, so there's not much that I'd be able to really fit in there. Like for me, I might be able to do like the pack of tissues, <laughs> like the um, not like the little packs where they're like a thick rectangle, but like just the ones where they're a little bit flatter. Some of the ones that I have, um, but yeah, I think it's laid out a little bit strange that you can't really put a whole lot in there. But the inside is very nice. You've got Belle and Beast there, and what else? Plus on the front there, zipper. One of the zipper pulls is. Let me check the big main compartment for you all here and see if it has a zippered pocket in the back. It does, so there is a zippered pocket in the back, um, but besides that, it is one large main compartment. Um, I'm not know how I feel about this bag. I don't know. Like, I, I, if you guys have watched my past videos, I have mentioned as many bags as I do have, I do limit myself, so <laughs> don't, don't think I'm that crazy. I mean, I've, I've had my collection of around 100, a little bit over 100 or so. Like, people think I'm crazy, but I'm like, um, I have people who have bought 100 in the last few months alone during quarantine, or there are people that I know who are in like the high hundreds. So I am actually on the lower end of collecting here. So, yeah, I know. People are like, you have like a huge collection. I'm like, ah, I have a baby collection compared to some of you collectors out there, which I'm very jealous of. Um, but I do have to try to limit myself a little bit because I can't spend that much money. And I bought this one and I'm not super in love with it, so I might return it. Let me know what you guys think. I don't know, I've been hearing mixed reviews about this one too. Um, some people disliked it at first, then saw it in person and loved it. Some were the other way around. Um, I was one of the ones that was like super excited at first and now I'm a little underwhelmed after having it for a little bit, so I might just return it. Because I, I still kept the receipt and everything. So, but yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think. 
to the one beside it. Yeah. Alrighty. I think that's it for today, yes? Alright, Teresa, what do they need to do? Uh... Turn on a notification bell so I never wake us. You're so weird. Turn on the notification bell so I never wake us. Yes. Alrighty guys, um, that's it for today. Don't forget to do all the stuff as they said. I don't know, I've already forgotten what they've said. We've said it all. But you guys know what to do. So, we will see you guys all next time.